Let's play around with lenses to create images. For this video, we will use the simulator from fet.colorado.edu. In this simulation, you see an object, in this case the picture of a pencil, but you can change it if you want to. With light rays traced from its tip through a convex lens. An image is formed where the rays meet again. The curvature related to its thickness of the lens determines its focus. The thicker the lens, the shorter the focus. But of course, this will lead to greater chromatic aberration. It is desired that lenses are kept thin, hence larger refracting telescopes usually have longer focus. The diameter of the lens determines the total light collecting area, and hence will be correlated with brighter or fainter images. Let's switch to principal rays. The principal rays are one that is parallel to the principal axis and gets refracted to go through the focus on the other side, one that goes through the geometric center of the lens, and one that first goes through the focus and then is refracted to be parallel to the axis on the other side. Let's turn on 2F as well which stands for two times the focal distance from the lens. Now let's take a look at the image produced as we move the object towards or from the lens. At the 2F distance, the image is inverted, real, and is the same size as the object. At distance greater than 2F, the image is inverted, real, and is smaller than the object. At a distance between 2F and 1F, the image is inverted, real, and is larger than the object. At a distance of exactly 1F, The refracted rays come out parallel and no image is produced. This is important for telescopes because in reverse, it means that an object very, very far away producing parallel rays towards the lens 
will produce its image at the focus. At any distance closer than 1f, the image becomes virtual and larger than the object. You can also use the simulator to test the thin lens equation using the rulers provided. 